Hey kids, welcome to lesson 15, Processing Arrays. Print a single true-false value. Sometimes we don't care about the count and just want to know if an array contains a five or not. Let's try to display a single true or false indicating whether the list contains a five. There are two cases to consider. The list does not contain any fives, you need to display a false. The list does contain at least one five, you need to display true. Hint, one way to do this is to reference your counter variable five count after the array has been processed. That is a pretty big hint there. We have a do this. We've pulled your code from the previous level so that you can continue to add to it. Add a console.log statement to display a single true or false indicating whether there is a five anywhere in the array. Looking down here, we have original and a bunch of numbers. Looks like there's some five, so it says true. Over here, no fives, we get a false. Let's take a look at our code. This looks a lot like the last lesson here. We have a variable test array. Our test array is currently empty. We have a loop that is going to run 10 times. It is going to add an item to the end of our array and is going to be a random number between 0 and 10. It's going to display a console.log statement in our debug console and the numbers in the test array it picked. Down here, we have our code from our last lesson. All this is doing is just seeing if any of those numbers in our array are equal to five. If they are equal to five, we're adding one to our variable five count, and then we're displaying that number of fives is five count. What we're gonna have to do is display this five count, but we don't need to know the number. We need to know if it's true or false. That means I can get rid of this part of code for right now, but it'll be coming back, don't worry. Thinking back to a couple lessons ago, we were looking to see if something was true or false. We use a if or else statement. I think that's what we're going to have to use again. Let's drag a if statement into our code. And what do we want to check? We want to check if five count, if five count is greater than zero, that means if there's just one number in it, let's put the console.log statement of true. Else, we want to put a console.log statement saying false. What this is saying is if five count is greater than zero, meaning there's just one thing in there, we want console.log or the debug console to display true. If it is zero, or if this number is not greater than zero, it's going to display false. Let's test out our code. Run. We have one five, it displays true. Displays true again. And we get one that's false, no fives in there. Looks like our code is working the way we want it to. Looking back at our do this, we added console.log statements to display whether there was a five in our array or not. How we do that? We use the knowledge we gained from a previous lesson using an if else statement. If our variable five count was greater than zero, it said true. Otherwise, it was false. I think that's all code.org wants from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.